Hello, my name is Grace. Today, I'm going to read the Bible story. The Bible title is 19th chapter, Ruth followed Naomi. Ruth 7 to 4. I am going home, said Naomi. Naomi moved to Mo with her husband and her two son, sons a long time ago. There was a big famine in her hometown. Bethlehem in in her hometown hometown Bethlehem. Naomi became old. Her husband and two sons died. Naomi was living with her daughters in law. I am going back to my people, said Naomi. I am going with you. I will go wherever you go. Your home, your home will be my home. Your God will be my God, said Ruth, the second daughter-in-law. Ruth came to Bethlehem with Naomi. Ruth had to prepare food for Naomi. It was a harvest time in Bethlehem. Ruth gathered grains on the barley field and ate with Naomi. Boaz won the land. She takes good care of her mother-in-law. Ruth must be a good woman, thought Boaz. Ruth gathered grapes, grains, they gently. Boaz helped Ruth gather more grains. He helped Ruth eat with other workers com comfortably. Comfortable. Boaz was a kind, rich man. Naomi said to Ruth, In Israel, tradition, we thus are to marry the closest really relative a relative. Boaz is the closest relief relative and he likes you. He, why don't you marry him? As Naomi said, Boaz and Ruth got married. God gave Ruth a very special gift, a baby boy, Obed, grandma, grandmother, now, now me, and Ruth were really happy. God blessed Ruth. Twenty chapter, God's man Samuel. Chapter 1, Samuel, 1 to 2. Hannah was crying. As and praying in the temple. She didn't have any children. Her husband, Elak, was a loving husband. But Elikan's mother, wife, Anna was curly to Hannah. God help. Help me, God. Give me a child. If you let me have a boy, baby boy, I will offer him to you. The priest of the temple, Eli, saw Hannah was drunk. Hannah, you have, a, you have to quit drinking. Hannah said to Eli, I am not drunk. I am playing praying because I am so sad. The priest said to Hannah, go in peace. God will answer your prayer. Hannah was not sad anymore. God really gave her a son. Han son. Hannah 
was very happy. She named it Samuel. Samuel means God answered my prayer. When Samuel was a little boy, Anna took Samuel to the temple. I will give this child to God. Can you help him to serve God? Yes, I will help him, said Ellie. The first Hannah thanked God for Samuel. Samuel lived in the temple. He helped Ellie and served God. Samuel obeyed God. He made God happy. He made people happy. Hannah and Anna came to the temple to worship God. Hannah brought a jacket for Samuel. They wanted Ellie to bless them. Bless us with more children. Ellie prayed for them. God blessed Hannah with three sons and two daughters. Samuel served God in the temple. He heard a voice calling him, Samuel, Samuel. God was calling Samuel. God spoke to Samuel everything. God said, happen. God said, happen. Samuel gave a message to the people of Israel. He was a special prophet of God. God. Yeah, I will read one more story. Twenty one chapter David the Brave Boy. Number chapter one Samuel. Oh, oh, Seventeen chapter. Come come on out, said the Goliath the giant. Come on out. And fight with me. <coughs> the Israel were fighting with the Palestine's Goliath was the strong, strongest Palestine soldier. King Saul and the Israel soldier were scared. If I will fight with Goliath, said David. David brought food for his brother. They were the soldier in King Saul's army. David was mad because Goliath was making fun of God's army. You are a young boy. Goliath is the giant soldier, said the king. I protect my sheep from the lions and bears. God will be with me. King Saul gave his armor to David, but it was too big and heavy to wear. David stood before Goliath. He had stones and slings in his hand. Goliath was upset to see a young boy, David, strongest and Stones and a sling? Do you think I am a puppy? I come before you in the name of the Lord. You made fun of God's army, didn't you? I will let the world know that Goliath's God is elf alive. God doesn't need a salt or a spear, said David. David put a, a stone in his sling. He let the stone fly. The stone hit Goliath's forehead. Forehead is this. And he fell to the ground. David ran to Goliath and took his sword. David won. You are a very brave David, said King Saul. David was really brave. 
Everybody said David was brave, but David knew God helped him. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? Um, next time we will read 22 chapter. Good friends, David and Jonathan. Yeah, then let's see you next time. Bye!